my name's Toomey, I'm a third year PPS, well, third year slash graduate. PPE stands for Politics, Philosophy and Economics. Um, I am Nigerian, I live in South East London-ish, like on the border of South East London and Kent, but you know, take for that what you will. And I went to a grammar school, but it was a state school, so please don't get twisted. I would say that my household is quite, um, I don't know, like Nigerian. I've grown up very close to my culture basically. So that was one thing I was kind of wary of when I was applying obviously to Oxford because I knew there wouldn't be a lot of people who were black or came from the same background as me. So yeah, I was a little bit apprehensive about that just because my family is so rich in culture, but also like my school, like there was so, it was so diverse and there were so many different kinds of people and stuff. So. Yeah, it was kind of like I'd grown up in a tolerant kind of community and so I was a bit apprehensive that Oxford wouldn't be like that. Applying, um, sorry, excuse that bin bag, just excuse it. Um, but when applying, the thing that made me most apprehensive was not necessarily my ethnicity, but just like my background in fullness, if that makes sense because a lot of like I've got a lot of white friends at home like it's not a thing where like I only had black friends I was only used to like mixing with like ethnic minorities or anything like that it's just a thing where there's a difference between white people who like grow up in diverse areas and like know different cultures and things and like know how to act around different cultures and then like white people who grew up in like the middle of nowhere which is a lot of the white people in Oxford which is not a bad thing at all it just means that obviously they haven't been exposed to the kind of background where I came from and they're probably not used to a lot of things that I am used to they don't speak the way that people from where I'm from speak don't listen to the music that people that I'm from listen to kind of thing so those are the kind of things that were on my mind and that I was thinking about so it was less so about um, ethnicity and more just uh, about me as a person and like the kind of things that I like to do clubs I like to go to and stuff like that and just thinking or like the things that make me laugh even and just thinking that people from Oxford would come from backgrounds where they wouldn't be able to relate to me or like understand that kind of stuff. One thing which put me at ease throughout my whole application process and my whole experience of Oxford also, not gonna lie, was definitely ACS. Literally in Freshers' Week, I was just counting, I didn't even go up, I went up maybe once in Freshers' Week in my head I was just counting down the days till the ACS club night like, because I knew that at least there like there'll be people who probably like will want to have a good time listen to the same music as me like be on the same kind of vibe as me um and so yeah I used to watch a lot of the YouTube videos and stuff before I applied I, don't, I didn't know that they had like offer holders day and all this kind of stuff like I didn't know about any of that but I used to watch the YouTube videos and like I, I just kind of knew a few people like before I came I knew a few people in the year above from ACS who I'd seen and thought oh they seem calm so that just made me think right please god there must be calm people in oxford i'm not gonna just be by myself for the whole time so yeah seeing acs before i applied really put me at ease i think when i got to oxford i was <laughs> the thing is what my my preconceptions of oxford were true they were true but it wasn't as bad as i was expecting like i really thought i was gonna have no friends like i was gonna be by myself like literally all my prayers before i came was just please god let me find friends that i can get on with blah blah, blah. which i was blessed with thank you jesus even the people who i would have thought that i wouldn't get on with i ended up getting on with so i think i was just being a little bit um close-minded and just thinking oh like if they don't you know, come from the same background as me or listen to the same music as me, then we're not gonna get on, blah, blah, blah. Because in my head, I'm just thinking of like pretentious people, but there can be, that there are tons of people who don't come from the same background as me, but are chill people who are like easy to get on with and stuff like that. So I think my fears were not as bad as they should have been. And I think it kind of set me back because when I got to Oxford, I was just like, I don't even need to talk to people in my college, so I'm just going to ACS and that's where I'll find people who I can get on with when I definitely can get on with people in my college, if that makes sense. I do feel like I was able to express my culture, my religious beliefs, my background, all that kind of thing. Um, the only thing is that most probably people won't have come across that before or like encountered it before or know how to interact with it so it's it's a lot of 
well you're at uni anyway but it's a lot of educating people like for a lot of i had a lot of conversations where people were like you're like my first black friend or like you're the first black person i've ever had a proper conversation with and that's just and i'm just like really but i feel like when you live in a very diverse place you don't realize that the whole of england is not like that so i think one it's 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 nice because you get to teach somebody else a little a little bit and they also teach you a little bit too but also and i think perhaps more importantly sorry but when you go into the work like the working world it's going to be a sea of white people and a few ethnic minorities at least the way it's set up now so i think it's nice because oxford really gets you used to being in a space like that and knowing how to interact even just like with tutors and stuff like just interacting with people who you probably wouldn't if you were just like at home in ends or whatever so i think that's one good thing about oxford is it prepares you for the real world um which is not diverse for oxford to improve the experiences of the ethnic minorities i think one important thing is to just actually start having conversations with the people that go there the ethnic minorities that go there the troubles that they face like because it's quite a universal experience like if you speak to any at least if you speak to any black person in oxford they'll tell you they've had some kind of racially motivated negative experience it gets brushed under the rubble you just think it comes with the territory but sorry it doesn't if you as university are going out of your way to try to get BAME students in you need to make sure that when they're in they feel comfortable they feel like it's an environment where they can be themselves free they feel like it's an environment where the porters aren't gonna make fun of them because their black access doesn't stop once you've got people to Oxford. Not just get them into the institution, but when they're there, also make sure that it's a space where they can feel comfortable and they can thrive. Because I feel like the a lot of the time, the negative experiences which ethnic minorities have also negatively impact the way they do in their degree or likelihood that they will rusticate and stuff like that. So I think it's just really realizing that they need to do much more for the students who are there as well as trying and making the effort to get more ethnic minorities. One, putting their money where their mouth is. Two, having those open conversations. And three, actually just really blatantly supporting the ethnic minorities, especially the black community. I said. Get some black um, welfare officers, black counselors, be more open to actually listening to and understanding black issues. The whole incident which happened where somebody was invited to speak, they were then disinvited because they were supposed to be representing all women at an event which was celebrating women and they'd historically done things which were in opposition to black women and negatively impacted black families. And then the university tweets saying, oh, that they don't think the person should have been disinvited. They, should, they shouldn't have been no platform. Sorry, that's just rubbish. And it says to me that you don't care about how I feel or how that person coming makes me feel you just care about making having a good name for yourself out there because the tabloids are saying that this person has been no platform so it's just things like that when the black community or the ethnic minority community as communities at large need oxford to stand with them and actually when it's time to support and it counts support us that kind of thing i think it's just something it's not even it's not even a hard thing to do one message to any ethnic minority students thinking of applying, especially black students, because I'm black myself, so I know the struggle. I would say, for me, uni is like a transaction. Like I'm paying you money to get to go there and get this prestigious name. And from that, I'm expecting success. So not gonna lie, I'll let you guys know in five years time whether or not it was worth it. But as of right now, from the people I've met, the experiences I've had did outweigh the stress, the stress that that place caused me. So yeah, maybe that's a hopeful, hopeful message for any prospective applicants. Just do it, why not? Getting better every year. Like I look at the, the younger years and literally like ACS multiplying. Every year multiplying, you man and taking over. So don't be disheartened by this. You can definitely make the most of it. So I'd say so bye.